competition is growing around Volkswagen. Very recently, we've seen Hyundai also launch their Verna into the sedan segment. And in a bid to refresh and recharge in the segment, Volkswagen have announced a whole bunch of new variants. GT, GT+, manual, DSG, colors, trims. Well, it can get pretty confusing, but my job here is to break it down for you. So let's begin with this is the Virtus. Now for the enthusiasts who've always wanted the manual gearbox in the Virtus, let's take a look. You get one. So pop in here inside. You get the performance with the manual. You get black leatherette seats on the inside as well on this variant. And of course, you get this nice new lava blue color, which will be available across all the variants of the Tigon and the Virtus. This new lava blue color is going to be a new color for all variants. You do get the blackened out alloys too. But the big change really is that gearbox. Another gearbox addition that you're going to get is with the Tigon. Now, this is the GT line. GT line first only had the manual, but now it also gets a DSG gearbox. So yes, you will get the automatic with the GT in the Tigon as well. And with that, they've come up with this sport concept. This is just a concept just now. Some graphics and decal on the sides of the car, the leatherette seats on the inside with the cherry red piping. And those are the few little changes that make this look a little sportier. And that's why it is called the Sport Edition. Moving over, we have also another color variant over here. Now, this is a uh, deep black. It comes with the Tigon on the GT Plus line. So that's just a new color variant for you. Now we have to trek to the other side of the room where you have a whole bunch of variants. So let's go there. Okay, so coming to this side of the room, what you see here is again another GT line. And this time the concept is the trail. So they've given quite a few concepts with the GT line of cars. This one gets blackened out alloys here on the side. You get this graphic decal towards the back. Not sure if I'm a great fan of something like this. You do get the roof rails as well. And then if I open out the inside, you can see again that leatherette seat with the cherry red piping on the inside of this car. Now, these sport and trail editions are concepts and they're just going to see the response that they get from customers and whether these are some things that should be launched. But the rest of the variants here will be available from June onwards. That is something that you should know. Coming here is another important one. What I like about this first and foremost is this black matte color. I think this is my favorite amongst all the variants that I've seen over here. I really love this matte black. Yes, matte black does attract fingerprints and that's something one has to worry about. But I think it looks pretty cool. Of course, uh, you get the leatherette interiors on this one as well. And you get red ambient lighting. You get the red along the bottom of the car on the outside as well along the bottom of the door so you get some red accents over here as well now the thing to know about this car actually is that this is the gt plus variant and if you take a look inside yes there's a manual gearbox so now the tygon gt plus the 1.5 will also get a manual gearbox so what you need to know is that both GT and GT Plus variants of the Tigon will have both automatic and manual variants available as well. Last but not least, we have here a deep pearl black Virtus with blackened out alloys, um, black leatherette seats on the inside. And of course, that black color that you see. So Volkswagen are making a change, lot of refreshes here to take the competition head on. They hope to sell 55,000 cars this year. And like I told you before, you can expect these variants to be rolled out progressively from June onwards.